Gravity is pulling this plane towards the ground. So why doesn't it fall out of the sky? There must be a counter force pushing upwards. This upward force is called lift. You can create lift by blowing over the top of a piece of paper. Air particles are bumping into the paper from all sides. These create forces. If the paper isn't moving, the air forces above and below must be balanced. Blowing pushes the air particles over the top of the paper, so fewer particles hit it from above. The downward force is momentarily smaller than the upward force, so the paper rises. For a wing to work, it needs to be able to create lift. So what shape does it need to be? A wind tunnel allows us to look at the way air flows around different shapes. The smoke streams show that for a symmetrical shape, air travels over the top in exactly the same way as it travels underneath. So will this shape fly? This machine demonstrates lift. First, the wing is locked into place. The weight of the wing holds it down. But it's free to move upwards if it creates lift. Nothing happens. The forces above and below this wing shape must be balanced. So what happens if we change the shape? With an asymmetrical wing, the pattern of airflow over the top is different to the airflow underneath. Will this make a difference? Passing over this shape makes it move upwards. It creates lift. To move upwards, the forces above and below the wing must be unbalanced. The force pushing down must somehow be smaller than the force pushing up. With an asymmetrical shape, the air has to travel further over the top than it does underneath. If it has to travel further in the same amount of time, the air over the top must be travelling faster. We know from our piece of paper that making the air flow faster over the top reduces the downward force. The downward force is smaller than the upward force, so the wing lifts. <laughs> 